we really want to bring an action platformer and to respect from the beginning the DNA of this brand. Of course, this new entry could be super modern, super fresh. And I think this is the reunion of those two things. Our expertise in uh, platforming games and our strong desire to be sure that this is a true Prince of Persia game. Combat system, acrobatic, puzzle, narration. So we knew that because of our experience on Rayman that we can bring such kind of experience in, uh, in 2D. But the core experience is a Prince of Persia game. Sargon is a brand new character in Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. He's the youngest of the Immortals. The Immortals are an elite warrior team. They fought and won many battles together. <laughs> Let's go then. We don't embody the prince. The prince is the one we have to rescue. That's one of the different surprises that you will encounter in The Lost Crown. The Mount Calf, which is the place where the, the adventure takes place. There's a curse. Time seems to be mixed up, doesn't follow anymore his natural flow. The story that one character will live will be different in terms of timeline than the story of his friend. So sometimes the consequences and the causes are mixed up. How is that possible? They left not long before us. The starting point was to immerse ourselves in the Persian culture and legacy, which is so rich. When you learn, you have a strong emotion, and you are amazed. You want to translate that feeling to the players, a feeling of exploring something new. And we get our inspiration from real places, like palace or temple, and even some natural landscape, like the Iranian forest, which is a real forest. It was really fresh to have a forest in the franchise of Prince of Persia. I think it will surprise the players. And uh, we have also uh, living elements like platforms that ask you to shoot to activate it. We think that for Prince of Persia, it's very important to have demanding platforming. We have level designers that are very expert of platforming because they worked on Rayman and things like that. And we also try to have gameplay elements that are unique. So like the bells, you have to shoot to reveal platform. When you create this kind of gameplay element, we have a lot of ideas. So you understand that you could do a navigation puzzle, you could do very tricky platforming, and even you could use it in combat. If you have enemies on it, you just have to shoot the bell and let the, the, the enemy fall in the spike, things like that. I think the strength of our game is that we have a character that is really easy to handle. So we can easily mix combat and platforming. I like to compare everything that, that is tied to platforming and combat to a music partition. I see a half and quarter and whole everywhere. And that was something that we use a lot for the platforming and combat. You know, the sense of reason. Freedom and creativity was the term that were defining the combat system. Everything is tied to a Sargon personality. He's like inventing his own movement. So it was really important to have the same approach between the way he's moving and the way the player can execute their combos. So back in the days, uh, Sand of Time, I pushed uh, the boundary standards with a nice and smooth animation. So of course, for the last crown, we are aiming the highest animation quality as possible. And the goal is to have a really smooth, challenging and responsive gameplay. All the gameplay animation is based on keyframe. Keyframe animation is the way to animate without motion capture. You create everything, actually. You, you just take the puppets, design the line of action, the nice shape of the character, and bring it to life. This allows us to uh, masterize the timing and make it more cartoony. If you ask for two actors to, to grab one by the head and, and launch it, it's not just possible. So you can create everything with keyframe. It's really important for us to make sure that this game is modern and respect players' uh, cleverness and autonomy. To be sure that our players feel free to decide what is their next objective, because this is a genre where you are in uh, isolation. This is a feel that you had in the first Prince of Persia. So it's very important to always give information to players. Sometimes it's obvious, like uh, big gating and the big landmarks. Sometimes it's been more subtle. 
It let the player discover the consistency of the world and how everything is connected. What we have developed is a lot of things. A new lore, new characters, a new combat system, a new art direction, a new narration. So it's something very important to say that this team has made a wonderful job on still working hard to bring the top quality game. Very important to talk about them. <laughs>